This is, this is the, the value, value of wrestling. The revolutionary force in wrestling podcasting. Ladies and gentlemen, I am back here in studio. And you know me, I'm the big time. This is the big time rant right here on the Value Wrestling YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because your subscription makes you part of the Value Wrestling family. And it is important to us that you subscribe because you, the fans, our subscribers are the ones who make this all possible for us to do this, to come on here and talk about the love that we have for professional wrestling and share our knowledge and expertise and all the news and stuff going on in the world of professional wrestling. We thank you for being here. Make sure you ring that bell for the notification so when any new videos come out or when we go live, because we'll be going live on Saturday after WWE Fastlane, and then we will be live Sunday afternoon. 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for the weekly roundup, which has been moved to Sunday afternoons, and we will be covering everything going on in the world of professional wrestling. Anyways, what is going on this week right now? Well, Becky Lynch will not be on Raw this week after suffering a laceration at uh, uh, laceration in her No uh, Mercy match, which required 11 stitches, so she will not be in action. Plans for more J. Card Gill uh, promotion is going to go down on WWE tonight. And, of course, we all know the rated R superstar Adam Copeland is now All Elite. We are going to go in details of that. But first, let's talk about Drew McIntyre. looks like Drew McIntyre is going to be a big part of the Raw tonight. It looks like he's shedding the nice guy persona. We may see the final turn of Drew McIntyre tonight, so make sure you definitely turn into Monday Night Raw. Uh, it looks like the main event will also be tied. It was originally supposed to be slated for uh, Fastlane, but will happen tonight on um, Raw tonight. Tony Khan offered Jay Carhill more money than she asked for to stay with AEW. Yes, Tony Khan reporting that uh, he offered Jay Carhill a good sum. Uh, she came back and asked for more, and he offered it to her, thinking that it was what was going to make her stay. And so now we, we kind of know what happened there. So here's what Tony Khan had to say about that situation. I quote, I knew Jade's contract was running up and I was very interested in having her. I made her an I offer a very big offer. I thought it was fair. And then she asked for an even bigger offer. And I went up again. I kind of thought that was going to do it. And it didn't, which I was surprised because to be honest, I came up with a number that was higher than her original ask. So I don't know what I'd have to do at that point. So I was surprised. So Tony Khan is saying he was possibly surprised by the Jay Carhill jump. Um, but no, no ill will there. She is always welcome back in AEW, but Jay Cargill is now in WWE and we want to see what happens there. Ray Phoenix breaking silence on injury suffered over the past month. Uh, Ray Phoenix is undoubtedly one of the top stars in AEW right now. And all these reports right now do come from ringside news. I'm sorry. I should have said that in the beginning. Right now, being the, he's the AEW International Champion, he was removed from his match uh, at Wrestle Dreams last night, and the reason for that was due to some nagging injuries he suffered at All In. Ray Phoenix was taken to the back, and Penta had to go after alone. Ray Phoenix took to his Instagram afterwards, shedding some light on that. The interna- uh, in that with being the International Champion has been a big challenge. The night I became champion, I left the arena with a championship in my hand with an old injury bothering me again. My first defense was painful. It did not allow the pain to stop me and continue until the fight was over. This coming Wednesday will be my second defense, and I'm doing my best to enter the ring and retain the championship. I will defend this beautiful championship in any situation. A luchador does not give up. A luchador will always leave everything in every battle. I am a real luchador, the man of a thousand lives. Nothing and no one is going to stop me. Quote, Ray uh, Phoenix. That's Ray Phoenix when he said after he was taken out of the match. At Wrestle Dream, Ray Phoenix suffering some nagging injuries. Hopefully, he will be able to recover and get back into the ring as soon as possible. Kevin Nash making the news lines here on Ring Size News. Kevin Nash has revealed a text between himself and Triple H addressing uh, the rumors of Triple H and Stephanie McMahon being uh, going through divorce, getting divorced, or having rocky times in their marriage. And ladies and gentlemen, 
let's go over this again. I know I've said this. Whatever happens between Triple H and Stephanie McMahon and their private lives is their private story. If they are to have issues and get divorced, yes, it's sad and tragic, and none of us want that for them. But we need to respect their privacy and let them have their lives. Now, I'm just only reading a brief news article just to give you some sum ups that will back up that none of this is true and that we all need to leave this beast be, be and move on and quit trying to find a narrative in something or a story in something just because of little things that we think mean something when they absolutely mean nothing. Kevin Ash said, I text Paul. I said, you okay? Everything all right? I'm hearing, uh, I'm here if you need anything. He's just like, what's happening in, what's happening in my life? I, he said, uh, Triple H just was like, what's happening in my life? Uh, and of course, Kevin Nash came back and said, social media saying that you're splitting with Stephanie and you guys are getting a divorce. His response, and this is what Triple H had to say is F it. I wish somebody would have told me that before I dragged myself to this JB football game and my girls cheerleading. Uh, I just love to find out what is going on in my life through the internet. I'm sure. And back to Kevin Nash, I'm sure that would upset me because he finally probably has a day off or it's family time. And he's just like, no, man, some troll's going to bink with you on your day off. So, again, we need to respect uh, the celebrity sports figures. Anybody that is in the spotlight, yeah, they are out there. They know they are out there. They know putting themselves in that position. They're going to get the spotlight shine bright on them. And so they do have to take a little bit of that responsibility, knowing they have put themselves in that position, understand that people are going to talk about them, good, bad, or otherwise. But we, the fans, need to control what we say. We need to back up and decide, is this really important enough to put out there? If Stephanie, uh, Stephanie Mann and Triple H get divorced, let that come out through a newswire and let that be their business to deal with, and um, we, we want that. But obviously, that's not happening. I didn't think it was happening. I didn't believe any of the news or rumors in that situation. But we need to back out of these people's private lives because it's their private lives. Let them have their private lives. If you're a wrestling fan and you see a wrestler, you need to show respect. You know, if they're in the gym, if they're in the airport, if they're in some places, um, you know, you need to approach with, uh, you, you know, being polite, uh, you know, going, hey, you know, excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you. Can I ask you for your autograph? Can I ask you for a picture? At this time, most of these wrestlers and every wrestler I've ever met, as long as you're respectful, is more than kind. Yes, there are some wrestlers, and there are some wrestlers at moments in time that are kind of, they're tired, they've been on the road, they're exhausted, they're feeling whatever way, they're hurt, they're sick, whatever may be going on. So they may be a little more on edge than normal, but if you approach them with respect and they're not stalking them around or chasing them down, uh, majority of wrestlers I've ever met, and I've met plenty of wrestlers from top tier to very low jobber in people uh, and shown them all the most respect, and they've all been respectful to me. So with this said, I hope this puts us to bed because I don't want to talk about Triple H and Stephanie McMahon's relationship. Uh, you know, I want them to be happy. I want them to have a happy home, a happy life. I hope their kids are doing good. I wish them all the best. And we just need to stay out of that end of their personal lives. We, we don't need to make assumptions. We don't need to say or speculate on people's private lives, which you really want people speculating and invading your private life and putting out there what they think is going on when they don't know. I'm just saying you really, really need to think about that uh, when you're putting information out there on the Internet. Anyways, Adam Copeland, the Rated R Superstar is now all elite. After last night's Wrestle Dream, Adam Copeland came down and um, showed that he is all elite. The news, the rumors, the reports, everything was true. And Adam Copeland is now all elite. He was first up on the scrum, uh, said he was excited to be here, uh, said that, you know, he finally feels free. Uh, he's going to be doing this full time. It didn't look like WWE was offering him a full time option, but he's going to be in the ring. He's going to be doing this full time. This is not just a part time gig for Adam Copeland. Adam Copeland's ready to dive in. Of course, we will see him Wednesday night in Dynamite live from Stockton, California. So Adam Copeland will be there to probably address the fans, which will be awesome. He's scheduled to be on Collision also, but his first match won't be until Tuesday, October 10th at uh, Title Tuesday, Dynamite version of Title Tuesday. Uh, where he will be facing Luchasaurus, Luchasaurus and Adam Copeland going one-on-one -on -one for Adam Copeland's AEW debut. Should be a great match, should be a great time. Can't wait to see what Adam Copeland does with AEW. 
Will he be a giant needle mover? I don't know if he's going to move numbers like a lot of people want to assume. It's a big name. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a great storyline. He definitely looks like he's going to be around for a while. Uh, but we know he's also in the twilight of his career. And so having fun and making money, I hope that's what he's doing. I wish him the best. I can't wait to see what he does. It should be exciting. Um, you know, I know a lot of people are jumping up and down going, if he's going after Christian in the TNT title, he should be helping his buddy. Hey, it's going to be a great storyline. Um, you know, it, it helps add another level uh, to the whole TNT title with the Christian story. And now we have Adam Copeland possibly lined with Edge and Darby Allen. Uh, if you listen to the media scrum, uh, Edge shared a lot of the information, said he flew in on Friday in the middle of the night, basically went out with Darby Allen in the streets of Seattle, Washington, and in some rough areas, and filmed all that footage in the car, uh, holding on to a, can ca a cameraman hanging out of the back of an SUV. Uh, it sounds like he's had a blast. It sounds like he's excited to be here. It sounds like we're going to get some amazing matches and some amazing opportunities going forward with Adam Copeland being here. He wants to help all these young superstars uh, or pro wrestlers. Uh, develop and become something better and we do appreciate what he is bringing to the table again he may not be the big needle mover the numbers may not jump significantly uh, i think it's going to draw some eyes uh, but it's still that he's a great asset to aew overall and i think he's definitely going to bring a different flavor or something new and of course we did hear there was four trademarks filed by adam copeland uh, adam copeland filed for the trademarks on legend cope the rogue and icono Plastic, iconoclastic, uh, was registered in the attempt to cover the categories of bandanas, hats, shirts, socks, sweatshirts, and hoods, uh, hooded sweatshirts. And this is all coming from Fightful News. Uh, the rogue trademark registration is intended to cover the categories of entertainment and the nature of wrestling content contest, uh, entertainment services, namely wrestling ex exhibits and performances by a professional enter entertainer. Uh, so a lot there. It looks like he is maybe going to use the rogue maybe this will be some trade name he's going to have um he's also using the name cope and of course he's trademarking the registration of legend so he can put that on merchandise it looks like as well so we'll have to see what he does with the words cope and the rogue the rogue is going to be an interesting one is it is it going to be adam the rogue copeland are we going he's going to be the rogue uh there should be a lot of interesting things coming out with adam copeland now, that's all in fightful uh right there and of course a big part of the um, a talk with Adam Copeland. I'm sorry, cats are cats. We thank our uh, thank our four legged friends, our lovely four legged friends, for being here. Uh, make sure you spay and neuter your pets. So, animals are a big part of this, and we are glad to have you here. What are you doing? Okay. Anyways. A big part of Adam Copeland's story was uh, the Metalinga song. He came out to, you know, we all heard it. and it all came down. Me. We heard this and then the uh, Metalinga's hit. And I think a lot of people were shocked. Uh, and like we talked about at Wrestle Dreams the Review, uh, Edge has had a close relationship with Alter Bridge. Uh, and Metalinga's was a great song. And he wasn't going to go anywhere if he couldn't bring that song. So he called up his buddy. And they said, yeah, it's great. Go ahead, use it. And so that was a big part of it. Um, and here's what Edge said at the scrum about Metalingus when asked about it. And I quote, Alter Bridge are, uh, Alter Bridge are my friends, Mark uh, Tremonte. I forget how to pronounce his name. Excuse me, sorry if I don't get it right. Who wrote the song is very good friend. The song is with me whenever, wherever I go. That was very important to me. I've always been very musically motivated. I think it sets the tone for a character and also sets the tone for Adam to get in that place. The music from the first time I heard it in Mark's house after I dropped a beer in his foray after just meeting him, he played that for me with his scratch lyrics on it. And I was out with a neck injury. I said, can I have that song? Absolutely, dude. He said, we had just met. Uh, and 20 years later, we are here. I called Mark. I said, what do you think? He said, absolutely. The answer is not going to change. That was really pivotal and important to me. I would have felt weird coming out to anything else. So Adam Copeland uh, has that right uh, to use that song, and he's going to go with it. And so we're going to get uh, Adam Copeland and Metalingus. And so it's a good thing that we are still having that same music to Adam Copeland uh, I think it probably would have been weird to, or interesting to see what music he would have came out with. But now we have Adam Copeland, the rated R superstar in AEW. We wish him the best. We can't wait to see what he does. He was questioned about Beth. He didn't say 
directly that, uh, you know, she would be there. He loves working with her is what he did say. He did inform us. He loved, you know, the idea. He loves it, but he can't say that that will happen, um, you know, but she is definitely his sounding board. Anything he does, anything that happens does go through her first. So, um, you know, the fact that Adam Copeland is now in AEW will be interesting. Um, and we have to get away from it because uh, later in that show, I think MJF said something or said Edge's name. And uh, Tony Khan was like, hey, we can't say that. So um, it'll definitely be Adam Copeland, maybe the rated R superstar. And, of course, we also have names like the Rogue and Cope that we're going to have to see how those play in. Uh, it's definitely going to be interesting. Can't wait to see what happens on Wednesday night on Dynamite. How Adam Copeland's going to play that out? Well, how that'll play out, and uh, it'll be very interesting to see all that go down. But Adam Copeland is all elite. Becky Lynch not expected to be on Raw. She is out with an injury. She took eleven stitches to a laceration that she suffered at No Mercy. No Mercy. Uh, mixed fan reviews. A lot of people liked it. Some people didn't like it. Uh, that's up to you. Definitely go watch it if you want to. It is up on the Peacock WWE stuff. And um, that is kind of the big news at the moment. Is there other stuff coming out? I'm sure. But we are always working hard here at the Value Wrestling to bring you the latest updated news. And the big thing is, of course, Adam Copeland is all elite. We discussed it at Wrestle Dreams. We've just discussed it here. Uh, he had a lot of great things to say at the scrum. He is definitely here on a full-time schedule. Uh, and it definitely looks like he's going to be able to use a lot of creative ideas. Uh, something I guess he wasn't going to be able to do in WWE. It didn't look like WWE was offering him a full-time deal, and he wanted to come out and be full-time. So, Adam Copeland is all elite, and we shall see how it all plays out from here. But at this time, on the big time, this is Value Wrestling. Please like, co subscribe, comment, share, ring that bell for notifications. Help us grow. We appreciate each and every one of you that's subscribed so far, and we're going to appreciate everybody else who subscribes going forward. We want to grow this brand, this family of the Value Wrestling, and your subscription makes you a part of the family of the Value Wrestling, and we need you to help grow this family. But until next time, until the next episode. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am out, and we will talk to you again real soon. I am going to let the music play me out.